every one of us in this world is so unique that no two people have the same fingerprint, not even identical twins. I recently discovered that fingerprints are developed during a process called a chaotic system in the womb. The seemingly subtlest movements during gestation creates the twists, the turns, and the swirls that develop into the human fingerprint. And out of this chaos, every one of us has the potential to make the, their own unique imprint on the world just by being who you are. I can definitely say that I was born into a chaotic system. I was born on a cold December day. And it was a miraculous moment when a very young, scared, unwed girl gave birth in an upstairs bathroom. No one knew about the pregnancy. No one knew she was in labor. When she joined the family downstairs for dinner, no one knew that she had just brought a baby into the world. She kept that baby hidden, afraid of what everyone around her might think of her. As babies do, I cried and gave away my hiding place, and voila, I was discovered. I guess I've always been kind of loud. <laughs> Even today, my friends tell me that I have something to say, and I am going to be heard. In that moment, chaos ensued for my mother. As I stand here today, I'm the mother of six amazing children, and I have eight incredible grandchildren, yes. <laughs> I can most certainly relate to the chaos that comes with motherhood. When my kids were little and I walked into the room with all six in tow, I could feel the judgment of me. I could see the looks on the faces. I learned very quickly which rooms I was not welcomed in. 22 years ago, I accepted a full-time position right here at Heartland Community College. Thank you. I started as a secretary in the corporate education department. To prepare for this transition, I found a new larger town home for me and my kids to live in. We were ready for a fresh start after all. When I called the new landlord to confirm our appointment to pick up the keys, I was met with an awkward silence on the phone followed by some lame explanation that they could not get approval for at least due to the number of people that would be living there. What? You tell me this now? The moving truck was on the way. I was floored. Literally, I lay on the floor devastated. I had to find places for all of us to stay. My kids were separated from me and from each other. I would report to my new job every day with a smile on my face while dealing with the reality that my children and I were homeless. After several years of living in this chaos, I was finally able to fight our way out and get my family back together. I learned a lot about myself, perseverance, and that I was worthy of a good life for myself and my kids. 
One year later, I became a homeowner for the very first time. For many years, we were on our own doing the best to stay out of the chaos and find joy in every day. And I didn't date much, but when the opportunity came to me to step into a relationship with a caring partner, I was ready for that chance. I wish I can stand here and tell you that those 10 years led to peace and joy. <laughs> I wish so much that I could end my story here with a happily ever after. But we all know that does not always end that way. I, over time, learned the man I married was a narcissist. Everyone around me thought he was great, and some still do. I had endured abuse, both mentally and physically. And with a broken spirit, I had never felt more alone. I lost so much during, during those years. Friends, family, money, health, time and most importantly, parts of me. I just wasn't the person I used to be, nor was I the person that I wanted to be. I had to find a way out. I could see my pieces here, there, everywhere. I did find strength in this song I'll share the chorus with you. When I thought I lost me, you knew where to find me. You reintroduced me to your love. You picked up all my pieces and put me back together. You're the defender of my heart. This song is by Carrie Job. And it reminded me of God's love for me. It inspired me to pick up my pieces and put myself back together. The title, Defender, made me think about who I am. I've uh, been a defender all my life, a fighter. Dare I say, a warrior. Wonder Woman <laughs> has always been an inspiration to me. I feel like I can relate to this warrior princess from the Amazon. I am very tall on the inside. <laughs> but uh, even Wonder Woman doesn't wake up every day and face her demons barehanded. She has all this incredible armor to protect her and empower her. I looked around at all that I had in my life, and suddenly I can see and feel my armor surrounding me. I raised my children to be these incredible sources of strength and light in the world, and I can reflect on how each one of them represents a piece of the armor I wear. Wonder Woman has her crown. I have Kristen, my firstborn. Kristen stands tall and carries herself like royalty. Wonder Woman has a special breastplate with the insignia of an eagle. I can feel my daughter, Angel, right here on my heart with the strength and freedom of an eagle. Then there is Wooly, my sword. Wooly tells the truth, even if it cuts. <laughs> Ramia is my shield, my protection. The belt Wonder Woman wears is 
Justino. She gives support so unconditionally. And my baby boy, Joshua, just like Wonder Woman's boots, he lights my path with his insight and wisdom. <laughs> he is very mature beyond his years. But Wonder Woman's most famous piece of armor are her wrist cuffs. We all know that pose that she takes, crossing her wrist in front of her to deflect danger. Okay, let's all do this together. Shields up. Yes! Woo! <laughs> These powerful bracelets are the armor that I claim as my own. They all come together to make one powerful superhero. Just as my children empower me every single day. For the story, the research on Wonder Woman's armor uncovered the true name of the bracelets as the Bracelets of Victory. Just Wow, <laughs> I can take all the victory I can get. I desire to embrace my superhero powers. I work hard to be a passionate leader that leads others to be superheroes as well. The more I embrace the chaos, the more I embrace my uniqueness the greater the impact I can have on this world. Shields up. <laughs>